guys welcome back to my channel so today I will be catering to my nursing babes okay I know I've been back but I haven't posted any nursing videos for my nursing girlies and boys so today I'll be helping you all out with making some decision in regards to what to bring on clinical and what are some of the tools that you need so you don't waste your money to buy unnecessary tools that you won't be using today i'll be showing you what is in my nursing bag that i take to clinicals or to the hospital and i'll show you all of my tools well some of most of my tools that you will need on your clinical rotation i'll also go in depth in regards to where you will need some of these tools so you don't have to waste your time like for example, if you're at a and &E, you know, you won't need as much stuff, but let's get into this video. Alright guys, so this is my nursing bag. I carry a book bag because I don't be needing a handbag or whatever nursing bag that Amazon sells. You can buy those if that's what you like. Some persons prefer a handbag, so you can buy that, but this is my bag. I carry a small little pink book bag it's like a medium-sized bag so it has a big compartment and it has a compartment in the back and we have the pocket in the front I'm going to start with the basic of the basics you gotta have a book okay you gotta have a book whether it's smaller like a little what, what do they call that? It's almost as small as, as a study card, but it's in the form of a book. Um, I also have I have a folder. Reason being, when we're on clinicals here, in Jamaica it's mostly paperized. So we nearly never do anything electronical. So we have to bring our time sheets. To be signed that we indeed came to the hospital every single day we also have to bring a skills book in which this is what it looks like to tick off the skills that we do that are necessary for us to be licensed as a registered nurse so that's what my folder is for if you don't have to do this if you're in another country you could just bring your folder and have like if you're somebody to write on folder leaf you can have that to write your notes on and that's how you can keep them organized or you know you have some little cheat sheets or whatever it is um next thing that you got to have that i have in my bag are obviously pens remember in jamaica and in caribbean on a whole we are still very much paperized I prefer to use the three um, way pens because you always need red ink as a nurse. Ain't nobody got time to be carrying around two different pens. Like, we don't got time for that, okay? And then next thing you know, you can't find the pen. So we're gonna jump into the more tools tools. So we're gonna start with the basics. As a student nurse, especially if you have if you have passed the second year in nursing school you have to carry you have to be ready because remember you know you want to be able to practice your skills so as soon as you get the opportunity you're ready so in my scrub pocket I always have a dressing scissors you can use this to cut tape that's what we mostly use it for you can use it to cut gauze but you always need a dressing scissors I don't play around with them blades because as you can see look them blades will cut you so I always have my dressing scissors that's one of the most that's one of the most important tools that you will need anything else in regards to dressing the hospital will provide it whether it's tape the dressing set trolley saline the hospital will have everything else for the dressing you just need to have your dressing scissors all right so we're moving into the number one tool that every single nursing student should have whether you have the manual or you have the digital i recommend you have both but if you have no other tool you have to have this 
Well, first, before we reach the other one, you need to have a set of scope. This is what my set of scope looks like. Let me tell you, I'm a black girl, so everything in my kit is black, okay? <laughs> Even my pouch is black. You need to have a set of scope and ensure that you get one that you can put your name on because everybody and their mama be having the same set of scope, whether it's a lip man or it's one that you get from Amazon or whatever. So you need to put your name on it, okay? Uh, okay. Now back to the number one tool that everybody and their mother should have. You have to have a blood pressure machine. Mine is a little fancy. You see how it's small and neat and it comes in this pouch. So it's so easy to carry around. This is a digital one. And you know it comes with a cuff as well. I don't want to pull out every single thing. It comes with a cuff. It comes with a charger. So it can be plugged in as well as it can it carry. It uses battery. If you don't have the digital, that's fine. You will need, you will need to have a manual blood pressure machine. I think they call this a Sigomo manometer. Listen, I, I can't pronounce that word. I hope I pronounced it right, right a while ago. But you need to have a manual blood pressure machine as well. So I would recommend if you don't have money like that, buy the manual first. And then as you go along you buy the digital because I just bought the digital most some places in the hospital they have their own digital machines so now all the time you will have to um, carry yours but it's always good to have your own tools okay you don't want to be looked at as that student nurse right all right so this apart from the blood pressure machine you must have a thermometer this mine comes in a case you must have a thermometer i know when you're in first year they advise you to buy the alcohol thermometer that's the glass one and then after that you will have to get the regular one i also have a nursing watch real cute as I, so that i don't have to continuously touch my phone to record time of when i give medications or if i'm counting respirations or whatever it is okay I also have a tape measure, a nursing tape measure, because how are you doing ad abdominal assessments and you ain't measuring the width of the, ab of the abdomen? How are you going to know if the patient is progressing or not, especially with patients who have kidney failure? Okay, tape, it's a tape. So this is my container that I normally bring to clinical. It has everything, but sometimes I opt to bring this pouch and this pouch instead of carrying the container with my blood pressure machine my thermometer you will need a spo2 machine as well you gotta have one is it coming up yeah you can see it working you gotta have a spo2 machine as well apart from the spo2 machine you got to have your pen light you got to have your pen light because when you're doing a neurology, a neurology assessment or when you're just doing a head to toe assessment you got to have your pen light here's what it looks like everything black <laughs> i'm a black girl okay and you can have your container a little spray bottle to put your alcohol or hand sanitizer in i always recommend this and plus when you go on the ward, they have alcohol, so you can never run out. <laughs> Don't do want me to steal, but yes. Um, if you're going to, those are the basic, basic tools that you must have as a nurse. These ones that I will be um, telling you about, these are extra, additional. It's good to have them but most of the times you won't really use them like that because the hospital provides their own or the health center so you have to have not have to you can have a gmr machine as well this is what mine looks like i hope it's not falling out of the case so you'd have the the strips the machine the the needle holder that's what i call it you have the machine itself and then you have the lancet that that's the needle you can have a gmr machine especially if you want to check your own gmr at home 
the main reason why I have a GM machine is because my father is a diabetic. So that's the whole, that's where I got it from. Because I didn't buy it to be included in my kit. For your own practice, I would recommend that you get a pair of forceps to practice your dressing at home. Because you know, here in the Caribbean, we have to do the non-touch technique to carry out dressing in order to pass nursing school to do our um, licensing exam. So you can buy these on Amazon really cheap. I think this was $10 a pair. Don't quote me on the price, but just type in nursing forceps on Amazon and you will find them. These ones are a little long, so you can get the shorter ones and they should be fine. You can also buy gauze on Amazon or you can ask a nurse when you're at the hospital, ask the sister on the ward, the manager on the ward, if she can spare you a pack of gauze or two so that you can practice at home. I also have a mini otoscope. This is what you use to look inside of the air. This is what it comes like. The battery still should be here. This is what it comes like. As I said, these are extra things. You don't necessarily have to have them, but it's good to have them, especially at home. So my first aid kit is fully stocked, okay? I have a second thermometer. It's not needed, but, and I have, I have two of everything, except for, the, the equipment like the otoscope the blood pressure machine i don't have two of those but i have two two forceps two dressing scissors two um two of everything else two pen lights two thermometers two spo2 machines so if one breaks down i or is faulty i have a second one to back up because I don't ever want to be in a situation where, okay, you know, bad things have a tendency to happen when re around really important events. So I don't want it to ever be a case where I have an exam and one of my machines stops working. So I always have backup. So that's it. And this is my little container that I bring my stuff in. Or I, like I said, I will have this pouch and this pouch this is where i keep my blood pressure machine that's a digital one and this is where i keep the manual my thermometer my spo2 machine my pen light and my dressing scissors anything else it's not really needed when you're going to the hospital the hospital will provide everything else so for this part of the video now i will be telling you guys some of the things that you will need based on the unit that you're on so if you're on a general med surge unit bring everything that i just said your spo2 machine your blood pressure machine both manual and digital because sometimes if the patient blood pressure is extremely elevated you may want to do a manual check just to make sure that you're getting a correct reading bring your thermometer bring your pen light and bring your dressing scissors your pen, your notepad, and your folder. That's about it. You don't need nothing else. If you're on a specialized unit, for example, ICU, ICU has a lot of equipment. You won't need anything there but a pen light, a dressing scissors, and maybe a thermometer. Because some of the ICUs, they have their own thermometer, they have, they have their own cardiac monitor which tells you every vital sign for the patient. So you don't necessarily need your nursing tools like that at the ICU. If you're on maternity or labor and delivery, you will need your tools, all of them, blood pressure machine, thermometer, SpO2 machine, dressing scissors, pen light because the maternity wards that I have been on, they don't have the cardiac monitors or any of those fancy machines. So most of the time you have to do your own manual vital signs and assessment of the patient. Okay guys, so I do hope that you enjoy this nursing video this what's in my nursing bag and what you need for clinicals if you want to see more nursing videos and more nursing tips i will be coming with them but please feel free to leave a comment tell me what you want me to talk on 
what you may not know or not sure about that you would like me to educate you on i am a fourth year nursing student about to finish and i am not gatekeeping anything because some of the things that i have learned along the way i wish somebody told me so i am going to be that big sister okay i'm gonna tell y'all everything just tell me what you want to know in the comment section down below and i'll definitely make a video on it or I'll respond immediately so i do hope you guys enjoy this nursing video or this video in general please stay tuned for the rest of my videos remember i upload every single friday or saturday every week once a week please remember to like share subscribe and turn on the notifi notification bell and i'll see you in the next video bye guys